In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to edit an array. So either using the JavaScript push and pop or the JavaScript shift and unshift. We can actually add or remove an item from an existing array. So, so here um, I am going to create a simple array. So I'm going to say let word and I'm going to um, actually just putting like one word in here as a starting point. So if I print this, I am going to see the words hello in my console. So, so here in order to add a item <laughs> into this array, we have to use something called the JavaScript push. Um, so this is not to be confused with the P5 push. <laughs> uh, these are two completely different things. So I'm going to keep emphasizing it's the JavaScript push and specifically it's being used for adding an item to an array. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to add a function mouse pressed Obviously you can you know, create all different kinds of control and method for adding things to an array. But um, when the mouse is pressed, the syntax for this is you have to name the, the variable for your array and um, write dot and write push <laughs> with a parenthesis. And inside of that parenthesis, uh, think about this parenthesis as a portal, and you can now send things into that portal, into the array. So um, I am going to now, you know, if I can send anything, so I will just, you know, say world. So the hope is I will add this item world into my array. Um, hello. So so here um, I just hit play. Like right now, it's just hello, and if I click on the screen world is going to come in as my second item. And if I keep pressing on the screen, I am just going to keep adding more world into um, my array. And you can also add multiple items, right? So for instance, I can maybe add an exclamation mark here. And when I click on the screen, it's going to add two items instead of one. So you can, you can add as many items as you want, separated by the comma. Okay, so, so here, um, this is basically how you add an item to an array. Um, how do we remove an item? Um, that would call for the pop function. So if I maybe integrate a feature so that when I um, press a key, my item gets removed, I would write words dot pop, followed by a parenthesis, but this time you don't need to send anything into the portal for the pop, right? Because you're simply wanting to remove things. So if I hit play here, and if I click on the screen, I'm gonna add word exclamation mark. And if I uh, press my key there, any key, it's going to remove words. So here, this is a basic idea of how you can add an item or remove an item from an array. You might have noticed though, over here, when we you know, push things into the array, it, it pushes it from the end of the array, right? So, so what if, we want to add things from the beginning of the array. Um, we have to use a different set of words <laughs> and that's kind of confusing sometimes. But um, in order to add things from the beginning, we actually have to use the word on shift. And in order to remove things from the beginning, we have to use the word shift. So it's a little bit of a mind twisters because push, pop, shift, unshift, those, those words just don't seem to correlate. Um, but essentially they're doing the same thing. One, is, one set of words are removing items from the end of the array, the other set of words from the beginning. So if I hit play here 
And if I click on the screen, <laughs> on shift, it's going to help me add items from the beginning of the array, where shift is going to help me remove items from the beginning of the array. OK, so, so that's all good here. Um, let's actually try to apply this into um, classes and the objects. So I am going to include this starter template in the video description here. Um, but what I have is a um, car class that has a random x and y position. And the car has a show method of a rectangle. And um, in the beginning of the sketch, I have a car's empty array. And I create actually three different objects of the car. And inside of draw, I actually load the car using cars that length instead of three. And the reason for that is because the length of my car is going to be manipulated <laughs> uh, throughout the program. So, so I want to make sure that I'm constantly referring to the length of the array instead of hard coding the number of um, you know, the, the, the length of that array. So, so here the goal now is we have to integrate what we just learned into this. Um, so I am going to add a function mouse pressed. And the idea is when I click on the screen, I am going to add an additional car onto the screen. So the way I would do that is pretty much writing cars <laughs> and that push and parenthesis. The big question is what do we put inside of this parenthesis <laughs> um, in order to be able to add object. So the way we create an object is by writing the syntax new car, right? So, so this, this new car, this phrase is pretty much what we need. So the idea is that every time mouse is pressed, new, a new car is going to get pushed into that array. And therefore, updating the length of the array <laughs> and therefore showing more, showing more cars. <laughs> OK, so if I hit play here, hopefully this works. Um, when I click on the screen, you're going to see the car just coming up, right? And if you console log that, you're going to see, um, you know, my cars just kind of keep, oop, that's not what I meant to do. Um, console.log cars. I can actually see it inside the array, right? Like my cars are just increasing by the click. Okay. And, and since we're using push, it's being added from the, from the very end. And now let's actually integrate a feature where we take it away. So again, similarly, we'll just write cars.pop. And in this case, when I click, it's going to add cars. And when I press on the key, it's going to remove cars. There's going to get to a point where uh, when the last car has been removed, and if you try to remove more cars, it's, it's just not going to do anything, right? So, so you have to consider those conditions when, when, your, when your car runs out. And if the player keeps clicking or you, know, you have to like think about if you need to write an additional conditional statement to like let the user know that they have run out of cars. So, so those are kind of like fine tuning and um, additional like interaction considerations. But this is the basic idea of how to add and remove objects from an array.